Hi everyone. Sorry for not posting videos for such a long time. I got stuck with some other issues. From now on, I'll be posting videos regularly. Please do share, subscribe and support me. Today in this video, I'll be explaining how to create a variant and delete if it's not necessary. First, let me explain what a variant is. A variant is nothing but a, it's an option in selection screen which allows you to save your selection screen parameters. This process will save you a lot of time by reducing not to enter values repeatedly in the selection screen. By setting up a layout, you can personalize the data output on the report. Okay. So we have learned what the variant is theoretically. Now let us do it practically. To do it, we need to go to the selection screen or any T code where we can enter in the selection screen. Uh, today in this video, I have already created a program uh, which have some uh, input parameters in the selection screen. Let me open the program and uh, uh, demonstrate it to you. It's Z test school variant. Display. Don't know why it's slow. Yeah, this is the program that I have created, and on clicking execute, it leads us to the selection screen. You could see here three select options. Uh, usually, in the selection screen, on clicking F4 or this button, we could enter the values. One two five material group will be whatever material number. Okay, on clicking. Usually we do this process selecting all these values entering again and again. On clicking execute, we could see the data as per our the selected criteria. So instead of doing this repeatedly, uh, now we are doing a process of variant. Variant it will save all the inputs we entered. Okay, to do this process, first we need to enter the in, uh, input uh, values and then click on save button save as variant then it leads us to the cell variant attribute screen here we need to enter variant name and description variant name will be test anything of your name test description will be test variant okay on entering this values click on save then you could see an icon in the menu bar. Previously it was not present, but on saving a variant, you can get this icon get variant. Okay, on clicking this button, you could see all the variant details which we have saved before. Okay. Now let me show you how it works. Okay, now I'm going back to the report. And on clicking execute, the selection screen will be empty. Now I'm not going to, going to enter any values here, but on clicking this get variant icon, which I have saved earlier, this created this variant earlier, I could get all the details on clicking one button. See how it saved our time. This is how uh, we save the variants. But uh, in future, if you don't want to use this variable uh, you have to delete it so to delete a variant uh, we need to click on go to button variance and here we can get the variables and display and we could also delete it 
you need to choose the uh, variant which you want to delete and click on continue see here we got two options in all clients in current client only if we choose this button it will delete in other clients also uh, whether it's development or testing or production in all clients it will this variant will get deleted but if we choose this in current client only it will delete only in this client not in the other clients okay if you i want to delete uh, only in this current client and click on continue yes see as soon as you uh, see we got a message that variant test got deleted as soon as you delete this icon got disappeared this is how you delete a variant and the save a variant uh, that's all in this video hope you have liked this video thank you for watching see you in the next video